Let's talk baseball, college, and pro. A little bit of sports dirt for you on the Denver Report. Two small schools in Kansas. One is Bethany College. The other is Kansas Wesleyan University. I think they're less, fewer than 20 miles apart. Huge rivals, as you can imagine, uh, especially athletically. The team's records this year are not great, but as you probably know, when it's a rival game, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Wesleyan had a doubleheader scheduled at Bethany over the weekend, and as is custom, the home team provided water for the visitors. It's the least they could do. But something didn't seem right, especially between the two games of the doubleheader. According to Wesleyan's Twitter feed, someone associated with Bethany's baseball program put a foreign substance, possibly paint thinner, into one of the water coolers and gave mm. it to the visitors. Oh my. Dang. Bethany has promised a thorough investigation. Mm-hmm. A good man and thorough on this one. Yeah. Photos on Twitter do show something looking very wrong with the water. Like you can see <laughs> oil slicking on top. Mm. But... As we have learned, just because something is on the Internet Mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's 100% true. That's right. Wesleyan lost the first game but won the second one 33-2. Okay. The photo accompanying the nasty water cooler read, putting paint thinner in the water coolers to get our players sick, still getting roasted by 31 runs. Wild. (laughs) Stay classy. Hashtag Buck Fethany. So. All right. We get the reference, Buck Buck Fethany. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yep. Yep. And, uh, well, I've seen that before. Ohio State started that. They did Muck Fishigan a few times. <laughs> okay. I, as a Wolverine man, that hurts. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Panther man. That's my Big Ten team. I'm a Michigan Panther fan. <laughs> yeah. And when you say Muck Fishigan, you say Muck me. <laughs> okay. That's what you're saying. Well, muck you. So they lost. They, they, they put the paint thinner in the other team's. Cooler. Water bucket trying to make them sick and still lost thirty three to two. Well, nobody drank the water. They they, they, oh, they could see it. the slick on they top. God. Although I don't, That's I don't know how often you even look into the top of a water bucket. I, I mean, if you're just pouring it into a cup, mm-hmm. like yeah. you taste it. You taste it. Might yeah. think it smells funny. Do you, you might think, look. Do you think that the uh, water and and like something like paint thinner would almost separate so all the paint thinner would go to the top? You know what I mean? I mean, you still would want to drink it, of course, but is that helpful? Do you think? Because you know, it's oil and water, yeah, which is heavier. Right. Maybe, unless the paint thinner goes to the bottom. When I put diesel gas in my car. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Years ago now. Did you know I did that? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. One time. It's not a diesel car. No. It wasn't. I was driving a Toyota Camry at the time. Really want like sporty, yeah, muscle vehicle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got the ladies. Yeah, so, uh, really wanted that. Mm-hmm. This was in the late nineties. It had the uh, well, my favorite detail was it had the spoiler on the back <laughs> and the spoiler and a pinstripe down the side. <laughs> Hot. I asked him to add the pinstripe. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, it wasn't factory. I said, listen, yeah. as an add-on. What color was the car? Beige. <laughs> what color was the pinstripe? <laughs> Dark beige. <laughs> <laughs> Brown. <laughs> Beautiful. I just oh, yeah, envision it. Go CD player? Can you see it? Uh, six disc changer Ooh, in the back. In the trunk. In the, in back. the trunk. In the That's trunk. convenient. Okay. You was living the lap. Very. Yeah, I was living the lap. That's right. I was. Uh, <laughs> Sunroof, moonroof? Uh, check and check. Didn't use them. <laughs> Did not use them. <laughs> wanted to save. Wanted to conserve. Conserve what? The sun? Aerodynamics. <laughs> Aerodynamics, my friend. Well, I wanted to speed out there. Mm-hmm. I'd put her up to 60, 65 miles an hour. No. So here's the point. It was not a diesel vehicle. Also, it had a muffler that would drag the ground. <laughs> this, this is another... One of the worst model years for Camrys ever. Yeah, it's 96 Camry. Uh, and the uh, the problem was the muffler, it was a, um, what do you call it? Design, Design flaw. flaw. Hmm. And so anytime you would go over a speed bump, scrape. I mean, it was terrible. If it was at night, you could see sparks. Yeah. <laughs> And if somebody was in the back seat, like occasionally you'd go on a double date. Yeah. Put a couple in the back seat, you know. And if you went over a speed bump then, or even if you did. You had no clearance. Crunch. I mean, it was awful. And so I took it back to the Toyota dealership where I bought it and said, can you do something about this muffler? And they were like, oh, no, design flaw. And they had that ready. ready to go. It's like, that's just the way it is. You know, there's nothing you can no do. No recall. No, unfortunately. So We can sell you some big tires. <laughs> a bigger tire? <laughs> Got a big tire well. <laughs> Go along with the pinstripes. Uh-huh. Sure. Now, unfortunately, uh, on Christmas Day of 96, I had to put gas in the car. I was driving back home after visiting my parents for Christmas. And I put, uh, I filled it about halfway and realized, oh, my gosh, I'm pumping diesel into this car. <sighs> I mean, I was halfway done with it. 
And so then I thought, this was my mind. I thought, well, maybe if I pump it half full of just unleaded, it'll be okay. You know, it'll mix and yeah. it'll be all right. But that's not the like, case. Like Dave's vodka and tonic. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Water it down. Yes. So I put about a half a tank of diesel and a half a tank of regular unleaded. And I drove home. And then I, then I was really worried. And there was no internet. I couldn't really figure out. I mean, I guess there was, but I couldn't really go online for answers on what to do. So I decided to drive it empty and refill it with unleaded fuel. And so I just drove in miles. Our, miles and miles. You one know, way. One way. And back the back other. I just drove because it was Christmas Day. I had nothing else to mm-hmm. do. I just drove. And at one point, at about the halfway mark, it just seized up. And later, the <laughs> state trooper who helped me <laughs> said. Because you called 911. I did. I had to. I had to. What was I to do? You broke Hold, down. I broke down. I was Hold on, Daddy. I was on I-40. I didn't want Daddy to know. <laughs> That's what it was. I didn't want Daddy to know. <laughs> You'd rather the state trooper know. And yeah. he's not busy on Christmas Day. That's what I thought. Yeah. I mean, it's Christmas Day. And I didn't have a phone. You might be getting double time. I had to walk to a gas station and use, use the pay phone. Anyway, and I did. I never told Daddy until, well, I told Mama. And Mom, <laughs> Mama told Daddy. Well, Mama understood. She did. And she's like, honey, I knew something was wrong. Daddy just put his head in his hands. He did. <laughs> that boy. Here's the point. The state trooper said that they don't mix together. The unleaded sat, or excuse me, the diesel sat on top. So once I'd used up all the unleaded at about half a tank, when the diesel hit, that was it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was being sucked through. And then as soon as diesel hit, and then, oh, um, it never ran right. It never was the same. Nope. And the check engine light was on constantly. Mm-hmm. And it was a lease. So when I brought it back in, <laughs> they said, this is not that diesel thing. You <laughs> it is. That's it. <laughs> it is. And I had. Oh, man, I took a bath on that car. I took a bath in diesel. It was one of the worst decisions you ever made, leasing that car. Awful. Driving back. you going back to Boone or no? Yeah, Boone. The best way to put miles on it. Oh, yeah. I Boone, mean, so stupid. your parents' house. All the time. My parents did my laundry. My mom you did, did all the driving on road trips. Everything. <laughs> and I was, and then by the time it was over. How many miles did you put on it? Because I know there's a limit. There is a limit. The limit was. Is it 10 or 20 it was, a year? It was 12, 10 or 15 it was, a year. It was 12,000 a year. Or 12. So I needed I sh- I, I needed a three year lease so thirty six thousand miles and you put on one hundred seventeen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a penalty. Uh, yeah, they're going to charge you for that. Just a dime a mile. Now you can buy it. It's a dime a mile <laughs> when you're done with the lease. Right. So I could have bought three nineteen ninety six Toyota Camrys for what the one lease cost me, mm-hmm. and it was diesel on top of that, and they knew it. And they're like, oh man, we're going to penalize you for that. And, they, and then they were like, "What about that muffler, man? We got to penalize you for that." I said, "Design flaw." Design. And, you know, so that was it. It was a bad, it was a terrible. And then at that point, I said, "Well, I'm not leasing any more cars. I'm going to buy one and run and run it forever." Is that when you bought the Act? Exactly right. Yeah, ninety eight. Well, first I wanted a big like spoiler, like a man's muscle car, so I bought a Mazda Millennia. And uh, <laughs> but I wrecked it after only about a year, and then that's when I went to the Act. Yeah. Right. So it was one car in between. And Mazdas were the S at one time. I thought so. Mm-hmm. That Millennia. Yeah. About the yeah. Oh, it was very nice. Guess what color it was? Beige. Ooh. And stripe? Dark beige. beige. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't go wrong when you got, you got good colors on the car. I'm a car guy. What am I going to say? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll spend a little extra uh, on a car. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's all it's all about. But, yep. Man, that was brutal. That was mm. a brutal day.